Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the 31st lecture on gravity gradient satellite. So, uh, we have been uh, trying to convert the gravity uh, moment due to the gravity gradient from one frame to another frame and uh, you must be very particular about uh, this understanding because it can be done in various ways. Uh, and uh, generally if you look into the books they do not explain all these aspects. So, uh, uh, I will explain the same thing from other perspective. Let us say that once we started writing this uh, gravity gradient torque, which we have written as tau. So, instead of writing this in terms of vector notation, we write, write it as tilde, which is the matrix notation. And uh, the right hand side also we will convert it accordingly. So, just wait for uh, this will wait for some time before we go into this 3 mu by r c cube this was our basic equation and uh, then we have e cap c cross i double bar dot e c cap. And as I told you that this is a vector e c cap this is a vector as a, along the c direction. So, if, uh, this c direction vector can be converted. Now, we can express in terms of say if, uh, this vector is in the E frame. Let us say this is in the in the capital E frame, which here is the initial frame. And we need to pass from this frame to the orbital frame from here we will go to the orbital frame and then we will go finally to the body frame. Okay. So, there uh, earlier once we have done this, so directly we replace this E c by E o. Here I am going systematically, uh, systematically from one frame to other frame. So, this E cap as I have told you that uh, this E cap cross this can be written in terms of with a minus sign here. and this i can be replaced in terms of i double bar dot e c cap this we can replace as e tilde c okay. and this minus sign we have taken for this e c cross this part we have written s so this minus sign is appearing here. So, the we are converting from E frame to O frame. Okay. We will write it like this. Okay. Now, because we are converting along the third direction, we are interested in the vector along the third direction. So, your as usual E O 3 this indicates 0 0 1. Okay. Uh, this is what we are interested in. So, we will write it in this way and uh, okay and we will we'll have a transpose here in this place i times c transpose o slash c so this is e to o frame Okay, and to transpose of this means we are converting from inertial frame to the orbital frame. This is converted to the orbital frame because here this quantity is in the orbital frame. And uh, using this skew matrix properties, times
i c transpose o slash c now if we look into this quantity this quantity is nothing but c transpose o slash e s e tilde o e this will be written as this was in e frame so maybe we can put a tag here that is, this is in e frame okay this is in e frame now it comes to the o frame means the orbital frame okay so uh, so this is your tau tilde which is now in still the on the left hand side you can see that once we have ma manipulated like this in terms of this transformation matrix so on the right hand side we have this in the e frame and because uh, the whole thing we have written in terms of this e c ca e c cap which is along the r direction and if you are expressing this in the inertial frame so it will lie along the inertial frame so this is along the still along the e frame this we need to convert along the orbital frame so if we multiply both sides by c o slash e means e frame to o frame so this quantity will get converted to the orbital frame okay you can see here then this becomes 3 mu by r c cube and this is c times c transpose i0 this equal to uh, here uh, let us write this in this way here tau 0 tilde okay so so uh, as usual this quantity is identity and therefore this gets reduced to r c q and this is s e tilde o3 i0 okay. so we have tau tilde o this quantity equal to minus 3 mu by r c whole q and then s times e tilde o3 times i o then we start writing this as c transformation from orbital frame to body frame i0 c transpose b slash o okay and this can be written as c transpose b slash o and this quantity is nothing but your ib this is converted into the body frame as i have discussed earlier okay rest we copy it from this place uh okay so here we have uh, not written it correctly once this is converted so this quantity here let me check on the previous page also e c here we have done it correctly okay you see that uh, this e c has been uh, changed to e o 3 okay so it's a uh, coming in e o 3 terms so here this will be in terms of e b tilde okay similarly here this will be in terms of 
E B tilde. So, this is converted into this quantity is converted into the body frame. Okay. So, this is E B and this part is converted into this place, this we have copied here, this we have copied here C transpose B slash O 3 mu by R C Q here equal to, but left hand side is still it is in the orbital frame and to get it into the body frame what we need to do that we convert this from the orbital reference frame to the body frame by multiplying it by C B O. This is the transformation matrix. Okay. So, this is minus 3 mu by R C cube. C times B slash O three mu by R C whole cube. This quantity is an identity matrix, and therefore only this part will remain. Uh, here also, uh, here we have also to change. See, uh, these are the common errors that creeps in. So, once we have changed this, so this should also be in the B notation. While writing it, it goes in a flow. This is B, this is also B. Therefore, here this should appear as B. And if we write in terms of this minus sign, if we want to absorb, so this will be plus 3 mu by R C cube, and this can be written as E tilde B cross okay, this minus sign because uh, that way we have defined this times IB times E tilde. B. I will take it on this side. So, this B gives us tau tilde B this equal to 3 mu by R C cube and this quantity if you want to write in vector notation. So, we should do like this. And what is this quantity? We we should look into this. So I will work here itself. times this uh, we are converting this is in the body frame okay and here on the right hand side this is uh, this is the quantity we are trying to convert okay so eo3 this is nothing but 0 0 1 uh, here the space is falling Zero zero one. This is nothing but your E tilde O three. So you can see from this place that E tilde O three. This can be described as C one one, C one two, C one three. Taking it on the left hand side and taking the transpose, 
that is by if uh, or uh, multiply both side by the transpose. So, this will get eliminated, this will get reduced to identity matrix here in this place and therefore, on the this can be described as E O 3 equal to C 1 1, C 1 2, C 1 3. Uh, then uh, C 2 1, C 2 2, C 2 3 and then C 3 1, C 3 2, C 3 3 and uh, this operated by E 1 cap, E 2 cap, E 3 cap. So, this vector is nothing but your 0 0 1 okay, on the left hand side. So, what we see that this vector is a combination of it is a given by combination of this 3. Okay. Okay, uh, let me uh, do it in a phrase in some other case here we do not have enough space. We do not need to uh, do this part, we will just remove this this part will be good enough for our work. So, uh, from this part we see that this is E tilde B and E tilde B if we are trying to express. So, what this quantity will look like from here if we multiply it. So, this will be 0 0 0 0 C 1 3 okay. this is 0 this is 0 and only the this part and then if we multiply. So, this is 2 1 2 2 here multiplied this will be 0 C 2 3. So, the last only last will count so, similarly the C 3 1 3 3 2 this multiplied with this this is 0 only the last count. So, C 3 3. So, the former one I was doing it that is not required for our purpose so, for the time being. So, we remove that part. So, E B tilde which is appearing here in this place and this place okay this is the quantity which is mentioned here means this is the third column of the transformation matrix which takes from orbital reference frame to the body reference frame so i will explicitly write here so e tilde b this is given by this equal to c13 c23 and c33 and uh, this is the third column of transformation matrix matrix which converts or transforms from orbital to the here I will put a tag this is B slash O means orbital to the body okay, orbital to the body reference frame. Okay. So, we need to be very careful. So, this way what you have we have seen that if we go in this systematic way then we can uh, keep converting one after another. So, the left hand side also we need to convert okay. while we work in terms of the vector. So, at least for this step, this step we simplified the first step okay. directly we wrote in terms of E c we replaced in terms of E o with a minus sign. Okay. So, uh, this is all about the uh, uh, getting the torque and this is your uh, this is all about getting the torque in the in terms of the body frame components. Okay. So, this is the gravity gradient torque gravity gradient torque in terms of body axis component. this is very important okay because the Euler's dynamical equation we have written in terms of the body x uh, components 
So, I will go in the next page and then we will recall it. So, if you remember that the Euler's equation we have written uh, I 1 times omega 1 dot minus minus I 3 times omega 2 times omega 3 equal to the torque on the right hand side which is m 1. Similarly, the other three uh, two equations. Okay. So, here omega 1, omega 2 which are appearing. So, these are the co components of the angular velocity vector along the body axis direction. Okay. So, uh, here on the left hand side this torque is along the body axis direction. So, here you must put the torque along the if your system is described in terms of the, the omega components which are along the body axis and on the right hand side if you put in the orbital frame or either in the inertial frame system. So, that will be a total blunder. Okay. So, this must be put in terms of the body axis system. So, this is must be written in terms of the component along the body body axis component along the body axis here in this case this is the first body axis so uh, you see the way we are proceeding. So, the, this is the difference. You can tend to memorize the whole thing, but uh, without understanding you can memorize and you can write in the exam, uh, you can work. But once the complicated situation arises, in that case the problem starts, because the understanding if there is not understanding how the things are being converted, then that leads to the whole blunder. So, this part I want to make it very clear, though we are going little slow and uh, uh, we have exceed, exceeded the prescribed lecture, but I, I want to show you that how the things are working uh, properly. Okay, so, if, uh, this part we have finished, then uh, next part I will uh, describe you terms of the vectrix which I have not done earlier and this part I want to do it for you. So, for that we start with writing the tau in terms of 3 mu by r c q and directly we will start from the orbital frame. So, on the left hand side this is in the orbital frame you can put here O as we see that we can just uh, from the inertial frame where the r c vector instead of using this uh, E c vector, we have converted this into with a minus sign E o cap. So, directly this gets converted one step, we can skip here okay. and as usual we have written it is like this, this is E o 3, here in this place it was 3. So, if we utilize the vectrix method, so we can also work this. But for that we need to uh, develop the already we have developed the vector equation for, for this particular case we need to write it further. So, by definition this i can be written as f tilde b i bar double dot where f tilde b this is nothing but 
E 1 cap, E 2 cap, E 3 cap. See, th this is the matrix notation on the left hand side. Uh, do not get confused by the un two under sign. So, I am removing it, this is not required. Uh, this is in the matrix notation on the right hand side, this is the dyadic and these are the vectrix. These two, this is FB, this is the vectrix and it is a transpose is here. This I double bar, this dyadic is written as say here I can write is alpha, alpha equal to 1, 2, 3 and beta equal to 1, 2, 3 I alpha beta times E cap alpha and E cap beta. So, this implies that there will be 9 terms in the inertia dyadic. This is what the inertia dyadic is. Okay. So, there are 9 times terms in this and which expands like this. We put alpha equal to 1 and then beta equal to 1. So, this is E 1 cap 1. Okay. Then I 1 2 beta equal to 2. So, E 1 cap E 2 cap and similarly other terms then set alpha equal to 2 beta equal to 1. So, this is 2 1 and the third this uh, the other terms are alpha equal to 3 setting alpha equal to 3 and ranging beta from 1 to 3. E 2 cap and so these are the total 9 terms in this dyadic and if you take a dot product of this quantity if you suppose that we are operating first with this. So, if you take the dot product so and finally, you take the dot product with this. So, you will get a matrix okay, which will be this matrix where i equal to this is i 1 1 i 1 2 Okay, so, this quantity is nothing but here. Okay, on the other hand, the same thing we can also write as this uh, dyadic we can express in terms of f tilde p transpose. So, I can be converted into this part. where f, f tilde b is shown here in this place. So, if you operate on this matrix by this vector here transform, so you can check it yourself. This part at least you can do as a homework. So, this quantity will result. Also, we have FB tilde dot FB tilde transpose, this will be a unit matrix. As you can check, this is E 1 cap, E 2 cap, E 3 cap, so if we use this, so E 1 dot E 1 this will be 1 and E 1 dot E 2 this will be 0 0. So, 0, 1, 0 the other things. So, this is a unit matrix. Okay, so some more uh, expressions are required to work it completely. So, this is E cap B, I we use this notation, this we write as C I 3. Okay. 
that implies that if we have here E 1 cap, E 2 cap, E 3 cap and this we can put B here to indicate this is in the body frame and this is in the orbital frame. Okay. So, on this side then we can write I will be replaced with 1, 2 and 3. So, this will be C 1, 3, C 2, 3 and C 3, 3. So, this is basically showing the because both are the unit vectors. So, th this is nothing but the angle between these two vectors. So, this is showing that how this u 3 vector it uh, makes angles with the e 1 b, e 2 b and e 3 b. Okay. And this quantity as usual we have written this as the f b, we have used the notation f b tilde. Okay. So, f b we have written in the bottom, here we are using in the bottom. So, we write it here like this. So, this dot e cap o 3 this will be equal to this and this part will write as C 3 to indicate this is along the third direction okay. and we will put a tilde here to indicate this is a vector. So, this is your this part. Okay. Similarly, this along the same line because this is a dot product. So, this can also be written as Okay. And if we use here f tilde b transpose f tilde b, uh, okay, we, we have to basically express this in a proper format. So, uh, f b tilde dot e cap o this equal to c tilde 3 multiply both side by b transpose which we are f b tilde b dot F tilde transpose B C tilde 3. This quantity we have to look into. So, this quantity here F B transpose F B tilde this is nothing but uh, E 1 cap, E 2 cap, E 3 cap and E 1 cap, E 2 cap, E 3 cap. So, if you take this product, so this comes out to be E 1, E 1 cap plus E 2, E 2 cap plus E 3. So, basically this is a unit dyadic. Okay. So, therefore, this we can write as E double bar dot, this we are using as a unit dyadic, okay. so unit dyadic. So, this is E cap O 3 equal to F transpose B C tilde 3. Okay. And as we know that dot product of a unit dyadic with any vector leaves the vector intact and therefore, this implies E cap O 3 this equal to f transpose b c tilde 3 and because this is inner product. So, we can also write as c transpose 3 times f tilde transpose b. So, finally, this expression also we write here transpose c tilde 3 equal to 3 transpose f tilde. Okay, so, these are the results which are required for uh, working with the 
vectrix method ok so finally we start like this the tau term we have written going back this particular part this we pick up from this place so this is tau 0 3 mu by r c q times e cap o 3 cross i double bar dot O3. Write every thing, thing is in terms of the vectrix notation. So, this part is our given here, ok, EO3. So, we replace in terms of this. So, F tilde transpose B times C tilde 3. then cross of this i double bar dot this will write as because this is a dot product so we will use this one okay. so here uh, c tilde 3 transpose times f tilde b we will write it like this and we know that this quantity can be written as f tilde transpose b times c delta 3. Okay, there are various ways of expressing uh, this thing and uh, we are going to say if, uh, if we like we have if we have a vector like this a transpose x tilde and this cross so this can can also be written as a tilde times uh, a times x tilde uh, we have used the notation uh, x tilde cross times a okay. so we will follow the notation here what we have uh, written earlier. Okay, uh, this notation will we need to change it little bit. Uh, we will put this part here in this place okay. rather than following this part we do just little change here and make it like this. We will write here the c tilde transpose f tilde b cross and then in this place we will replace it with f tilde b times c tilde 3. Okay, whole idea is to get the final answer what we have been looking for. So, uh, we have this equation now uh, let us multiply on both sides by f tilde. So, we take the dot product here f tilde dot and this is tau 0. So, what we are doing 
by doing so we are taking the components of this torque along the f tilde direction. So, f tilde is your vector which is e 1, e 2, e 3 and this is along the body axis. So, if you take the dot product, so we get the directly the components of tau 0 which is the torque in the orbital frame gets converted into the body frame. So, left hand side then we can express in terms of tau v. So, this is the torque in the body frame, torque in the body frame and this is the torque in the orbital frame. So, the right hand side then therefore, will be 3 mu by r c cube f tilde dot and we are putting here b this is and uh, e o 3 we need to convert it this part we need to convert so we need to uh, put this already we have worked for this so we convert this in the that format which is c tilde transpose 3 times f tilde b and then cross. So, this is a vector ok. And on the right hand side we have this part i double bar and this will write as f tilde transpose b times c tilde 3. Now, this i double bar we need to express it in terms of the this, this is in the form of a dyadic. So, we will convert it in the form of the um, this kind of format we have used earlier. So, uh, this i double bar we have written as f tilde transpose b times i times f tilde b and there is a cross in between. So, this cross is put here and ultimately we have on this side dot f tilde transpose b times c tilde 3. So, this part we have merged together and this part we know from our earlier expression f b times f b dot we, we have written as a bit dot transpose we have written as the unit matrix. So, this is i times unit matrix times c tilde. Okay. This part can be written as C tilde 3 transpose times minus 
f tilde b cross and this is your i times this unity matrix this will be i times c tilde 3. So, you may be wondering that what this uh, whole thing is all about. So, we can we will do it on the next page this particular part first let us complete this. So, this gets reduced to 3 mu by r c cube this part can be written as f tilde b transpose times c tilde 3 which I am going to do it on the next page i times c tilde 3 and we know this property r c So, this quantity is 3 mu divided by r c whole cube and uh, c tilde cross times i times c tilde 3. So, uh, let me work uh, all these things. So, first let us look into this quantity f b dot f b dot transpose this perhaps we have done it earlier. So, f b dot f b dot transpose here uh, itself. So, this is just i the unity matrix unit matrix and therefore, and this quantity which you look here in this place this is a skew symmetric matrix. So, therefore, just we can write this as i this gets eliminated and a skew symmetric matrix appears. So, we need not uh, work on this this particular part I will work. So, this is c transpose 3 f b cross f b transpose. So, first we will work on this f b cross f b transpose. So, f b tilde cross f b tilde transpose. So, this is a e 1 cap e 2 cap e 3 cap this is all along the body x direction which I may not write it because uh, it is unnecessary to carry this tag e 1 cap e 2 cap e 3 cap. Okay. So, this is appearing in the outer product format, but there is a cross here and if you take the cross product. So, this will be 0 e 1 cross e 2 this will be e 3 cap e 1 times e 3 this will be minus e 2 cap. Similarly, others can be filled in. Okay. So, this gets reduced to this skew symmetric matrix. Okay. Then we have this times C tilde transpose C 3, C tilde transpose 3 and uh, times uh, f tilde f tilde b cross. So, this will be your c 1 transpose So, we pick up uh, this particular part where we have written c 1 3 c 2 3 and this c 3 3 we have written for this. This notation is very important to us uh, while working with this and uh, Okay, C 1 3, C 2 3 and C 3 3. So, this is the transpose here and then this is multiplied by this part 0 e cap 3 minus e 2 cap 
0 e 1 cap Okay, so for this type of operation already we have done if you remember you just multiply it and if you try to solve it. So, this can be reduced to uh, uh, let me uh, maybe if, uh, uh, I will try to do it for you right now quickly. So, uh, this is minus C 2 3 times E 3 cap this part plus C 3 3 times E 2 cap this is the first term then this multiplied by this this is C 1 3 times E 3 cap and then C 2 will be this will be 0 and C 3 3 plus C 3 3 times E 1 cap here this is minus sign. So, we have to put a minus sign here and then for the last term this is minus C 1 3 times E 2 cap and uh, plus C 2 3 times E 1 cap okay, the last term will be 0. If we take out this E 1 E 2 outside say we write it like this E 1 cap E 2 cap E 3 cap and take the C 1 C 2 inside. Okay. So, if, uh, how the this equation will look like. Okay. So, first we have reduced it to this format and then we are reducing again it into this format, but only thing that E is outside and C is inside. Okay. So, if, uh, just looking into this the um, first column it will appear as if we have written like this. So, this is E 3. So, E 3 will uh, E 3 is combined with this. So, minus C 2 3 will be here and then uh, E 2 is here. So, E 2 is in this place. So, C 3 3 will be appearing here in this place there it will be 0 and similarly you can look for other terms like the E 3 cap is here. So, E 3 cap is here in this place. So, this is C 1 3 correspondingly and here C 3 3 which is related to E 1 cap. So, this goes here in this place minus C 3 3 ok here this place it will be 0 and accordingly uh, we look into this place. So, E 1 cap it with this it appears the C 2 3. So, here we will put C 2 3 which is multiplied by E 1 cap and with E 2 cap this is minus C 1 3 and here this quantity is 0. So, you can see that this is the skew symmetric matrix and therefore, we can write this as this is F tilde uh, B transpose and this is nothing but your C tilde 3 cross. Okay. So, now looking back uh, here in this place, so you can check that uh, what we have done here. So, this quantity we are writing in terms of this one. Okay. So, this is 3 tilde C 3 tilde transpose you look into this place this quantity if, uh, already it was in C 3 transpose format. So, what we have written here let me see. mu by R C Q C tilde Q I C 3 transpose. So, if, uh, here in this part if you look for this quantity. So, this quantity is nothing but F tilde B tilde cross with minus sign because minus sign is appearing here as per our definition minus if we are writing F tilde B cross. So, here all the minus sign should be here this should be plus this should be plus and wherever the plus is there, there it should be minus. So, this quantity is nothing but this quantity. So, multiplying together this F B tilde cross F B tilde transpose this is nothing but your this quantity which is appearing here ok this particular quantity and C tilde 3 transpose which we have written here in this place and rest of the things we have copied just here in this place ok. 
now c tilde 3 transpose minus f b cross ok this is this whole quantity ok. So, instead of uh, copying this whole thing here uh, writing in terms of uh, we could have equally written in terms of like here this is c tilde transpose times minus f b tilde cross I could have written it like this. So, the, this is exactly the same thing which is written here in this place ok. So, uh, this part it is getting reduced into this format. So, finally, we are getting this quantities multiplied together it can be written like this and this is a b tilde transpose c 3 cross here. So, go back and look here this is the whole thing from here to here uh, bearing this part ok this whole thing has been then uh, f b dot is there. So, f b dot we have kept it here this is f b dot here. So, f b dot is here present thereafter you have this quantity or either this whole quantity from this place to this place. So, this quantity is nothing but f b tilde transpose times c tilde 3 cross. So, here you see this is, this is the same thing that we have written there ok and rest of the things i times c tilde 3. So, i times c tilde 3. So, this gets reduced into this format and uh, then what is this quantity here. Uh, so, we will go on the next page itself we will work. So, finally, we get the result as tau b this is the tau b which is the torque in the body frame this is equal to 3 mu by r c cube 3 mu by r c cube and then we have this uh, c tilde cross 3 c tilde cross 3 i times c tilde 3. What this quantity is? This quantity c tilde 3 this we have earlier denoted as C 1 3, C 2 3 and C 3 3 and if you remember this is the if you take the C matrix which converts from the orbital frame to the body frame it converts from orbital frame to the body frame. So, this we have written as C 1 1, C 1 2, C 1 3 c 2 1, c 2 2, c 2 3, c 3 1, c 3 2 and c 3 3. So, if you look this is nothing but this is the third column ok, third column of this transformation matrix and if. So, here in this equation this appears as the third column of the transformation matrix and this is exactly what we have derived earlier using the matrix method there. So, there is no difference either you work from the vectrix method or either from the matrix method it is exactly the same identical result you will get. And this part especially you have I have worked for you so that you understand how to work with the vectrix method and how to work with the matrix method any one of can be applied whichever you feel uh, comfortable with ok. So, uh, we will uh, end our uh, topic today here in this place and we will continue with the uh, this gravity gradient is still uh, some part is left because we, till now what we have done we have just calculated this part ok. So, this is your uh, the torque acting on the satellite due to gravity gradient, but uh, this is not enough thereafter this must be applied for uh, applied to the Euler's dynamical equation. So, once we apply to the Euler's dynamical equation and thereafter we solve the dynamical equation maybe for a small perturbation from the equilibrium position or for, from the reference position we are looking into. Then we will know uh, whether this system is a stable or not a stable. So, now we are uh, in a stage where we are going into the stability of the system we will look into the controls of the system. So, uh, so, we started with the rigid body dynamics then we have looked into how the gravity is acting on the satellite. So, this was fairly long. So, as I told you that we have considered the earth to be a massive particle 
okay for uh, in the assumption we have made that earth is a perfectly uh, uniform is, uh, density sphere so that while we apply the newton's law uh, of the newton's gravitational law so it gets reduced to uh, a particle and uh, thereafter we have got uh, these equations which look uh, complicated but still it's a very simple if we start uh, trying with the higher order terms like uh, uh, which appears in the case of when you are taking the oblate shaped uh, uh, earth so if you know that the earth is not a perfect sphere and also its a density is not uniform so if you try all those things it becomes massively complicated which are not a matter of uh, mm, uh, and uh, this is not a matter of uh, the classroom uh, teaching okay you can't uh, write a paper you can't uh, do some professional work like you have to work for isro so you can do those precise calculation but for the classroom we cannot keep it uh, stretching because it takes a lot of time for working on a small thing putting in a proper notation so uh, thank you very much and uh, next time we are uh, going to apply this the torque that we have derived due to the gravity gradient to the euler's dynamical equation and progress further so it may take uh, next maybe two lectures to wind it up uh, we are going so somewhere uh, uh, 30 lecture it was scheduled uh, 25 to 26 to 30 lecture it means five lectures were scheduled for this but uh, it's likely that we uh, two more lectures it's uh, two to three more lectures will be required for this particular one so uh, thank you again for, uh, so uh, we welcome you to the next lecture uh, next time thank you